Welcome to Global Hub Updates. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more updates. In recent years, South Korea has been making significant headlines in the world of aerospace, rapidly emerging as a key player in the global defense industry. Once known primarily for its electronics and automotive sectors, South Korea is now turning heads with its advanced military technology and ambitious aerospace projects. The country's commitment to innovation and self-reliance has led to the development of cutting-edge fighter jets that are capturing the attention of nations around the world. At the heart of this transformation is their latest creation, the KF-21 Boramai. This next-generation fighter jet is more than just a new aircraft, it's a symbol of South Korea's determination to become a leader in aerospace technology. The Boramai, with its sleek design and advanced capabilities, represents years of research, development, and international collaboration. It's equipped with state-of-the-art avionics, stealth features, and powerful engines, making it a formidable presence in the skies. But the KF-21 Boramai isn't just a point of pride for South Korea. The jet is being positioned as an export product, intended to strengthen alliances and support the defense needs of friendly nations. By showcasing the Boramai to international delegations and displaying it at global air shows, South Korea is signaling its readiness to share its technological advancements with partners across the world. One of the most interested parties is the Philippines. The Philippine Air Force, eager to modernize its fleet and enhance its defensive capabilities, is now seriously considering the KF-21 Boramai as a potential addition to its arsenal. For the Philippines, acquiring such advanced jets would mark a significant leap forward in its military modernization efforts. The news of a possible deal between the Philippines and South Korea has generated excitement and optimism in both countries. High-level meetings, press conferences and diplomatic exchanges have highlighted the growing cooperation between the two nations. This potential agreement is not just about buying jets, it's about forging a deeper strategic partnership that could have lasting impacts on regional security. If finalized, the deal could reshape the security landscape of Southeast Asia. With modern fighter jets patrolling its skies, the Philippines would be better equipped to respond to emerging threats and protect its territorial integrity. At the same time, South Korea would strengthen its role as a regional security partner, contributing to stability and peace in Asia. For decades, the Philippines has faced challenges in modernizing its air force. Many of its aircraft are outdated, and efforts to upgrade have often been hampered by budget constraints and shifting priorities. The prospect of acquiring the KF-21 Boramai represents a long-awaited breakthrough, offering the Philippine Air Force a chance to finally bridge the gap with its regional neighbors. The arrival of new, state-of-the-art fighter jets would not only boost the morale of the Philippine military, but also signal to the world that the country is serious about defending its sovereignty. Ceremonies marking the acquisition of these jets would be a proud moment for the nation, inspiring confidence among its people and allies alike. Meanwhile, South Korea's aerospace industry continues to grow at an impressive pace. With each new project, the country is building expertise, creating jobs, and expanding its influence in the global defense market. The success of the KF-21 Baramai could open doors for further exports and collaborations, cementing South Korea's reputation as a hub for advanced military technology. By sharing its technology and working closely with other Asian nations, South Korea is helping to foster a spirit of cooperation and mutual security. These partnerships go beyond simple transactions. They involve training, joint exercises, and the exchange of knowledge, all of which contribute to a safer and more connected region. For the Philippines, this moment could be a true turning point, not just in terms of defense, but also in diplomacy. Strengthening ties with South Korea and embracing new technology could pave the way for greater regional influence and a more secure future for generations to come. The relationship between South Korea and the Philippines is not new. In fact, it is a partnership that has been built over decades, shaped by shared experiences, mutual respect, and a common vision for peace and security in the region. While many may see their cooperation today as a product of recent events, the roots of this alliance run deep stretching back to a time of great turmoil and uncertainty in Asia. It dates back to the Korean War in the early 1950s, a conflict that changed the course of history for both nations. When North Korea invaded the South, the world watched anxiously. The Philippines, despite being a young nation itself, answered the call for help, becoming the first Asian country to send combat troops to support South Korea under the United Nations banner. 
Back then the Philippines sent over 7,000 soldiers to the Korean Peninsula. These brave men fought alongside South Korean and Allied forces, enduring harsh winters, fierce battles, and the constant threat of danger. Their sacrifice and courage on foreign soil left a lasting impression, not only on the people of South Korea, but also on the generations that followed. This act of solidarity created a bond that lasts to this day. Every year, veterans from both countries gather to remember their shared history, honoring the sacrifices made and the friendship forged in the crucible of war. These commemorations are more than just ceremonies. They are reminders of the trust and loyalty that underpin the relationship between the Philippines and South Korea. Over the years, the two countries have signed many defense agreements, formalizing their commitment to mutual support and cooperation. These agreements cover a wide range of areas, from intelligence sharing and joint military exercises to technology transfer and logistical support. Each new agreement builds on the foundation laid decades ago, adapting to the changing security landscape of the Asia-Pacific region. They have traded military equipment and shared training programs, allowing both armed forces to learn from each other's strengths and experiences. Filipino soldiers have trained alongside their South Korean counterparts, gaining valuable skills and insights, while South Korea has provided advanced military hardware and technical expertise to help modernize the Philippine military. South Korean ships and fighter jets are already part of the Philippine military arsenal. The acquisition of these assets has significantly enhanced the Philippines' defense capabilities, enabling it to better protect its territory and respond to emerging threats. These platforms are not just symbols of military power, they are tangible proof of the trust and cooperation between the two nations. This history of cooperation means trust is already established. Joint planning sessions, regular dialogues and combined exercises have fostered a sense of camaraderie and understanding between the two militaries. This trust is crucial, especially in a region where security challenges are constantly evolving. The KF-21 deal is just the next step in a long partnership. As the Philippines looks to further modernize its air force, the acquisition of the KF-21 Boramai represents not only a leap in technology, but also a reaffirmation of its strategic alliance with South Korea. This deal is expected to deepen defense ties, promote joint research and development, and open new avenues for collaboration in the years ahead. Both nations see value in working together, especially as new threats emerge. From maritime security to counter-terrorism, their partnership is more important than ever. By standing together, the Philippines and South Korea are sending a clear message. They are committed to peace, stability, and mutual progress in the region, ready to face the challenges of the future as trusted allies. The KF-21 Boramai is a next-generation fighter jet. It stands as a major achievement for South Korea's defense industry. The jet is designed for speed, agility, and advanced warfare. It can carry a wide range of weapons and has state-of-the-art radar. For the Philippines, the KF-21 offers a leap in capability. Their current fleet relies on older models. With the Boramai, they get a modern plane that can compete with regional powers. The Boramai's design also allows for upgrades. This means it can stay relevant for years to come. For the Philippines, this is important. It ensures their investment pays off well into the future. The Philippine Air Force, or PAF, has long sought to modernize its fleet and capabilities. For decades, the PAF has operated with a mix of aging aircraft and limited resources, striving to keep pace with the rapidly evolving security landscape in Southeast Asia. The need for modernization has become more pressing as neighboring countries invest heavily in advanced military technology, and as the Philippines faces increasing challenges in protecting its vast airspace and maritime territories. Their current fighter jets, such as the F-A-50, are capable but have notable limitations. While the F-A-50 has served as a reliable workhorse for the PAF, it is primarily a light combat aircraft, lacking the advanced radar, weapon systems, and range of more modern multi-role fighters. This means that while the F-A-50 can perform basic air defense and ground attack missions, it struggles to match the capabilities of potential adversaries equipped with more sophisticated jets. With rising tensions in the region, especially in the West Philippine Sea, the need for better technology is urgent. The PAF must be able to respond quickly to incursions, conduct effective surveillance and deter potential threats. Modern fighter jets are essential not only for defense but also for maintaining a credible presence in contested areas and supporting the country's commitments to regional security. The acquisition of the KF-21 Boramai would mark a new era for the PAF. 
This advanced multi-role fighter, developed with cutting-edge technology, offers significant improvements in speed, maneuverability, and firepower. Its state-of-the-art avionics and weapon systems would allow the PAF to conduct a wider range of missions, from air superiority to precision ground strikes and even electronic warfare. It would give them a true multi-role jet, capable of adapting to different combat scenarios. The KF-21's versatility means it can engage enemy aircraft, provide close air support to ground forces, and carry out long-range patrols over the country's extensive maritime zones. This flexibility is crucial for a nation with diverse security needs and a vast territory to protect. This would allow the PAF to defend its airspace more effectively, support ground troops during joint operations, and patrol the country's vast maritime areas with greater confidence. Enhanced surveillance and rapid response capabilities would help deter illegal activities such as smuggling and unauthorized incursions, while also strengthening the Philippines' ability to respond to natural disasters and humanitarian crises. Modernization is not just about buying new planes, it's a comprehensive process that involves upgrading the entire ecosystem that supports air operations. This includes investing in advanced maintenance facilities, ensuring a steady supply of spare parts, and developing a robust logistics network to keep the fleet mission ready at all times. It means upgrading training programs for pilots and ground crew, adopting new maintenance procedures, and refining tactics to maximize the capabilities of new aircraft. Advanced simulators and continuous education are essential to ensure that personnel can operate and maintain these sophisticated jets safely and effectively. The KF-21 could be a catalyst for these changes, pushing the entire Air Force to a higher standard. Its arrival would not only enhance the PAF's combat power, but also inspire a new generation of airmen and women, signaling the Philippines' commitment to defending its sovereignty and contributing to regional stability. The modernization drive is more than an upgrade, it's a transformation that will shape the future of the Philippine Air Force for years to come. The KF-21 Boramai is packed with advanced technology, it features stealth capabilities, making it hard to detect by enemy radar. Its radar system can track multiple targets at once, giving pilots a huge advantage. The jet's engine provides high speed and maneuverability. This is vital for dogfights and quick responses. The cockpit is loaded with modern displays and controls, making it pilot-friendly and effective. Perhaps most important is the jet's adaptability. The KF-21 can carry a variety of weapons, from air-to-air -air missiles to smart bombs. For the Philippine Air Force, this means flexibility in any mission. The West Philippine Sea is a flashpoint, several countries claim parts of it, and tensions often run high. The Philippines has faced challenges from larger powers, especially China. A stronger air force could help tip the balance. With the KF-21, the Philippines would be able to patrol its territory more effectively. The jet's range and sensors would improve surveillance. Quick response times could deter intrusions and assert sovereignty. This deal also sends a message to the region. The Philippines is serious about defending its interests, it also shows that regional alliances, like with South Korea, are growing stronger. Acquiring the KF-21 is more than just adding new jets, it represents a shift in the Philippines' defense strategy. The country would move from a mostly defensive posture to one of active deterrence. This new capability could change how neighbors see the Philippines. It may encourage more respect and caution from potential adversaries. It could also inspire other Southeast Asian nations to modernize their own forces. The new jets would also require changes at home. The Philippine Air Force would need to invest in training, infrastructure, and logistics. This would create new jobs and opportunities for local industries. The KF-21 deal is not just about hardware, it is a symbol of trust and shared vision. For South Korea, it demonstrates their growing influence in defense exports. For the Philippines, it means access to cutting-edge technology. This partnership could lead to more joint exercises and technology sharing. Both countries could benefit from closer ties in research and development. It may also encourage other nations to join similar programs. Such cooperation is vital in today's uncertain world. By working together, both nations can better respond to common threats. They can also help shape the future of security in Asia. The confirmed deal for the KF-21 Boramai marks a turning point. For the Philippines it means a stronger, more capable air force. For South Korea, it's proof that their aerospace ambitions are becoming reality. This partnership is about more than jets, it is a testament to decades of friendship and shared interests. As the Philippines prepares to receive its new fighters, the region will be watching closely. The KF-21 could help secure Philippine skies for years to come. It also shows the power of regional cooperation. 
With these next-gen jets, the Philippines is ready to face the challenges of a new era.